Hi. Hello. Welcome to Say You Think You're Iconic. There's a ghost in my room. Oh. We come in peace? We or... come in peace. Or... or Actually, no, fuck you. This is my house. Get out. <laughs> if you ain't paying rent, you ain't staying. <laughs> yeah, if you're not paying rent, you need to leave. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I have a car payment. So like if you just want to just yeah, leave, right. leave money on my desk every month, that would be great. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thanks. Um, how, how was your week, Kelly? It was actually kind of busy. Ooh. Um, so I, I am an introvert. Um, if that wasn't clear from any thing that I described that I'm going to bed early and whatever. Um, mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I basically saw friends Wednesday and then Friday. I saw one person on Wednesday. I saw two people on Friday. Well, two group, two different groups of people on Friday. Mm -hmm. Um, I am a little socially drained, (laughs) but, um, yeah. And you know what? I thought I had, um, we had something going on on Saturday night and it got canceled and I was high key, like, oh, thank God. (laughs) <laughs> so um yeah if anybody listening who's my friend um sorry maybe two weeks from now <laughs> <laughs> well even i don't um, need that much time to socially recharge <laughs> hey you know what it's um a week to recharge and then the second week is to be okay with the idea of seeing people again mm, okay mm-hmm mm-hmm but yeah, really fun week. I loved seeing everybody. Um, I know work is going to suck next week because I have to work like overtime. Ooh, money. I, we have a, we, uh, yeah, I love the money aspect, but it's a, um, it's an off, I don't want to say campus, but it's like away from work, like type deal. Mm-hmm. And I have to be there off for campus, two hours. As, and if you, like... as if you work at some tech company. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, it's out of office. There we go. It's an out of office event. And I have to be there for two hours, maybe a little more to set up and take down. And I'm just like, dang it. Yeah. So sucks, that was me. Sucks for you. Yeah. As for me, so many things happened this week. Um. The first one was at the beginning of this week, I had a flashback of a play that I watched at um, a Christian camp and it was ridiculous. Oh yes, you did. (laughs) I was, I was just rolling through TikTok and I saw some TikTok about religious something. I don't remember. And then I just remembered back to when I, the one and only time I went to camp, by the way, Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) that I, I don't remember if I talked about that on here. That was all. I don't it, think you have. That was an entire. I think we've talked about a different one. That was an entire mess. Like I, I was supposed to be going to like the little kid camp and somehow ended up there with teenagers and then they just let me stay. And then. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then Poor they planning. Want, they didn't want me to do anything because like, I guess they thought I'd get hurt. So I got stuck with like all like the nerds and then (laughs) and then um here's the like flashback I had I had a flashback of while we were there they had like a play they would do like every night you would get like Mm. a chunk of the play um the play from what I remember don't really remember at all kind of suppressed it it was about a girl (laughs) who became addicted to either skydiving or bungee jumping I literally don't remember and then at the end she dies and I think it was like a metaphor for drugs but I'm not sure yeah it also could have been a metaphor for faith and I literally don't know how that would work but it could have been yeah I don't know I was like 10 (laughs) <laughs> yeah you should not have I was supposed to be with the children we were supposed to be painting and swimming <laughs> not all that so yeah yeah you you were traumatized I was traumatized yes yes I was um and then I watched a lot of movies this week I think this might just be a recurring thing where I just tell everyone what <laughs> movies I've watched this week yes yes Let's just like rapid fire go. I watched a, I watched a lot of rom-coms this week. 
My oh, first good. one was a rom com called The Hating Game. It was bad. Mm. It was bad. It started Lucy Hale. So, like, what? What do you expect? Oh. And that was actually the second Lucy Hale movie I watched because I also watched Fantasy Island. Didn't know she was in it. Yeah. If I had known she was in it, I wouldn't have watched it. It was really bad. <laughs> it was worse than The Hating Game. Oh. And it had like a bigger budget and it was worse. And I was like, nice. oh gosh. Um, like the plot made absolutely no sense. Oh no. It it was like rooted in reality, but also in magic. It uh, what? I was very confused. And then the twist at the end was terrible. Uh... like so terrible. <laughs> it was bad. And then I watched a rom-com called Can You Keep a Secret? It was better than the hating game, but it was still bad. Okay. So at least they're getting better. Like the plot was god awful. Like, and Mm. like, oh my gosh, the uh, the lines they said were so cringy. So how do we give these movies the time of day if they're so bad? Or is it like a car accident where you like have to look at it? Look, I like a good rom com. Um, they don't make them anymore, (laughs) but I like a good rom com. (laughs) Um, and then just this morning I watched Oz the Great and Powerful because I was watching Mm. a TikTok and someone was like talking about and I was like the only thing I remember is that like Mila Kunis turns into the Wicked Witch and then I watched it and I was like oh I could have gone without remembering this (laughs) I was like yeah I remember this now but I could have gone without remembering this it was bad Mila Kunis looked awful in that green paint she did she Um, did the wire work they were using for their flying was aw- god awful. Like really? they were like tilting while they were flying. And I was oh, like, no. come on, God, it's, we can do better than this. You could it totally was, tell. Yeah, you could tell they were on wires. It was really bad. Oh. Um, and then I also watched another rom com because, you know, I love torturing myself. But this yes, was an older course. one. So I thought it was going to be good. It was not. Um, I watched the first 20 minutes of a rom-com called Just My Luck. It was so bad <laughs> I had to turn it off. I, was, I couldn't do it. And I thought it was going to be good because it was Lindsay Lohan and Chris Pine. But it was yeah, awful. I love awful. Chris Pine. Well, how was I 20 minutes into the movie and they hadn't even met each other yet? <laughs> this was like a 90-minute movie. I was like, what's going yeah. on? Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna watch that one eventually because uh it has to be done i will be drinking yes i I will watch (laughs) it with a white claw in hand yes (laughs) we'll not be watching that sober and then to like cleanse the palate this week i watched bride wars thank goodness quality Mm. material i haven't seen that one in a while good soup some good good food Good. I ate finally some good food. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this was a bad rom com week for me. I had to go back to the classics. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Hathaway. Heal yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Kate Hudson. Is that her name? Yes, Kate Hudson. I'm, I'm terrible with names, guys. Awful, just awful yeah. with names. But yeah. That was my week. And then I also went with Kelly and and another friend to go see The Secrets, secrets of, Dumbledore, of Dumbledore, even though there weren't really any secrets. I think there was one secret and we're all just There like, was one secret eh. and it didn't really make <laughs> sense. But I was like, you know what? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, like, I do like this franchise, but I think the second movie is the best one out of the three. No, I most definitely like this better than the second one, mostly because really? I, I, I know y'all gonna crucify me. I know you are. I know you are. I'm waiting for the booze. Um, Mads, Mads, is that his name? Mads Mickelson? Is that his name? The guy who what? played Grindelwald? I have no idea. He is a much better Grindelwald than um John <laughs> Johnny Depp. I'm so sorry. It's true. I'm kind I of... Will s- I'm kind of happy say... Johnny Depp got fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I will say, like the direction that they went with Grindel Grindelwald, I am happy that it's uh, not Johnny Depp because I yes. don't know if he, it would have been good. It wouldn't have been good with Johnny Depp. Y'all need to stop playing. Have. Y'all need to stop with all this anger. You know this man did a better job than Johnny Depp did. Y'all know he did. Yeah, like I think I think for like the scarier aspect, like Johnny looked the part. Yeah, he looked for what they did in in this. He looked insane, which was perfect. And then if they put Johnny in this new movie, it would not have. It would have looked outlandish and silly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It it it's giving like comic book scary, not comic book scary. I'm thinking no animated series scary. Yeah, like over over the top. This 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 new Grindelwald was a much more muted evil, and I kind Mm -hmm. of like I liked it better yeah love you johnny especially for what yeah we love the what you did in the first two but like this one yeah we're we're glad you were spared for the material because i I think i wouldn't have liked it (laughs) no for the material we were given we needed a different person and honestly i think they should keep up the the new person thing every movie (laughs) i don't i mean from the box office i don't think we're gonna get another one but (laughs) probably not Probably but if they not. do keep doing them, just give us a new Grindelwald every movie. Yeah, it, treat it treat it like um, it's the um, dark arts professor role. Yeah, just a new one every movie. Every movie, because I, <laughs> I love it. I loved. I feel like Keeps each, it fresh. I feel like each actor you gave us for each movie fit each movie they were in. So I think we should true. Just, we should just true keep it going. And we all know what's up now, so we wouldn't be surprised if you changed him again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're used to it. I mean, yeah. They're, if they do make another one, they're probably going to recast mm-hmm. Ezra Miller if he, if Ezra is an character isn't already dead. We don't know if Credence dies. I mean, or not. spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Here, sorry. Here's the here's the spoiler. Stop listening now if you don't want it. Yeah, could have had like two minutes. Yeah, um, he's definitely dead. He has to be dead. Like, he has to be. Like literally, because they 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 had that whole lead up with the with the um with the phoenix with the phoenix, and then he he's looked dead. terrible. Yeah, and for some reason, no he, one seemed to know he was dying. Right, he looked. He was emaciated. He yes. looked weak. Mm-hmm. The homie couldn't even walk downstairs. But for some reason, he was dying because he couldn't use his magic, even though he was using his magic the entire movie. Mm. <laughs> okay. Make, make it make sense. Yeah, that makes sense to At me. At this point, cut it out so that we can get a fresh new story. Yeah. Let's start over. That's all I'm saying. Let's start over. Let's pretend like this is like an alternate universe. Mm-hmm. Let's treat it like, a, a, like an MCU show. Let's yeah, treat yeah. it like... The Agents of Shield. Yeah. Different world, different canon. It different doesn't line canon. up with the main story. It's mm-hmm. fine. St- still enjoyable, but like it's over there. Still enjoy- yeah, yeah. And we understand that it's way over there. Way over there. Uh, you could even use the same people because then you could just be like, no, 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 that's yeah. over there. Th- yeah, this is yeah, the yeah, real yeah. thing. That was just for fun. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we understand that you're experimenting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we get Lord, no, Lord knows the um, DC movies are because they're all over the place. Ooh, yeah. ooh! I forgot a movie I watched. I forgot a movie I watched last night. I watched Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. Um, I have something to tell y'all. Hmm. It's another thing that's going to get me canceled. I don't like Zack Snyder's uh-huh. movies. Have I seen a Zack Snyder movie? Literally every Zack Snyder movie I've seen, <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is visually nice, but like the plot is all over the place. Like, what's happening True. here? I was watching this zombie movie. Tell me, tell me why there was a pregnant zombie. Oh. I was like, this makes oh. no sense. What are you why would there be a be a yeah? And then there was like different classes of zombies. Like there were the smart zombies and then the dumb zombies. And I was like, that makes no sense. Is this like Zombieland? (laughs) Where they have the classifications? 
or is it? I think that's in the second like, Zombie Land movie. Yeah, the second Zombie Land, they like have the classification. But like that zombies. movie's a mess. The only saving grace mm-hmm. of that movie is that little blonde girl. Hilarious. <laughs> Can't even remember her name. I've seen two Zack Snyder movies. Everyone I've seen, I'm like, this plot is a mess, but these are some great action scenes. <laughs> I think I really liked how Sucker Punch looked, but I still don't know what happened. In like I movie. said, like it looks great, <laughs> but the plot is all over the place. I could say that about Sucker Punch, um, Watchmen. What else has he done? Yeah, um, 300 like what what is the plot of 300 really Uh, (laughs) um hit um his justice league movie i was like wow this looks really good but like what is this (laughs) um batman versus superman i hate that movie oh yeah so much i hate it yeah Mm. Mm. but yeah um yeah that's all i gotta say Let's 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 talk about something else. Let's talk yeah, about yeah, let's, let's talk about Charlie's Angels before like <laughs> people start like harassing me online. Exactly. Because <laughs> I have spicy takes, y'all. Ooh. So today we are talking about Charlie's Angels 2, full throttle. We are finishing the Charlie's Angels series, sort of. Sort of. Yeah, <laughs> we're not moving on from this one. Yeah, they had a they had a soft a soft reboot is that what it's called when they like lightly connect it to the original is that what they're called a soft yeah, I guess reboot so. i don't know i've seen it it wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be but it's mm. still not touching these it's not yeah no yeah so let's get started so we start off in mongolia is that where they were yeah they're in mongolia sure that's what i wrote so <laughs> that's where they're gonna have to be <laughs> um where U.S. Marshal Ray Carter has been kidnapped. So the angels come to rescue him with Alex, who has hidden herself in a box that the bad guys happen to bring to the area that she needs to be. And she was upside down the whole time. How did she survive? Yeah, and didn't anyway. like, die. Um, <laughs> exactly. Dylan is working as a waitress in a Mongolian bar. And no one Yeah, gets, how she didn't stand weird. out. Yeah. I mean, I know they're drunk, but still. But yeah, like, not that You're a drunk. white girl. <laughs> and exactly. Natalie comes in to distract the like bar people by posing as a Swedish tourist and riding a mechanical bull. Because they have was that there. Why there a mechanical bull? <laughs> I don't know. I don't exactly. know. Well. Also, also, from what we see later, this is not like an in-town bar like they're no. like in the middle of like, the middle looks of like a nowhere. military base yeah I... but, but we'll talk about that later so yeah well... <laughs> um well while they're waiting for dylan to open the door where marshall carter is being held um he complains to alex about One, that his ribs are broken, and two, that they took his ring. And she thinks he's talking about, like, a wedding ring. She's like, your wife won't care. Yeah, she's like, you you can get another one. You can get another one. Like, you you make a good salary. You'll be fine. Yeah, right. Um, When Alex and Dylan get the marshal out of the cellar, a bird informs the bar of their escape (laughs) attempt. So they all (laughs) jump out of the bar's windows. Yeah. And then they get into a truck and try to drive off. Uh, but a man shoots a rocket launcher from one end and someone shoots a tank from the other, which was a bad <laughs> idea. I don't know why they yes. thought that was a good idea to shoot them both at the same time. Um, yeah. But they did that. And so Natalie drives the truck off of the, what was that? A water a dam. Yeah, yeah, dam. Sure, yeah, it, it dam. looked like a dam. It looked like the Hoover Dam. So I'm just uh, gonna say uh, the dam. Yeah. And so she does that while simultaneously going into the bed of the truck <laughs> and starting up a <laughs> helicopter. Yeah, that's just casually hidden in the back of yeah. the truck. Um, and so she starts it up. They somehow get uh, Marshall Carter in there. 
and then uh, she starts to like descend upward and Alex and Dylan hold on to the wings of the helicopter and they don't get chopped to bits somehow. Yeah, they're th- first off, they get the helicopter off the dam and they're falling. Mm-hmm. The propeller opens up and starts spinning and neither Alex or shoot, what's her name? Dylan. Dylan get chopped. Yeah. As they're hurtling to the floor. As they're because hurtling. They, because Dylan hasn't caught onto the helicopter yet. And they're like no. in, like feet from the floor. Yeah, they're like, she's like waiting till the exact last second to pull up. Yeah. And then she pulls up and somehow Dylan is able to go forward and, and like catch, catch up to wing. it. Yeah. Made no okay. sense, but she did it. Physics and gravity do not apply to the Charlie's Angels. Nope, not at all. And then yeah. they 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 escape. And the man who tried to shoot them with the rocket launcher, um, he calls a mysterious person. Um, and they're like, okay, let's start plan B. And this mysterious yeah. person is obviously a woman, and this is where they mm-hmm. failed at a reveal. Yeah. <laughs> this is really where they failed at a like they could have had a good reveal. They failed it right here at the beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They we could. It was a female voice. It was obviously black a female hair, figure. Long black hair. They yeah. there was really, no mystery. They really dropped the ball in the first ten minutes of this movie. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. We'll we'll let it go. We'll let it go. Yeah, we'll we'll let it slide. Uh, and then we have the like quintessential random scenes. That are insignificant to the plot of them like showcasing their differences mm-hmm. and past missions they did. You, you know the scene. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we then cut to an airfield where a Justice Department official, Bruce Willis, is killed and has his ring that is similar to Marshall Carter's ring taken. Can I just say, I, yeah. there were choices made for filming this movie yes um the blue that was going on during this i don't know if that was necessary it was and then, awful the like it was so bad it was they had it was so oversaturated with blue it was incredible and then when i saw bruce willis i was literally like his oh hair, my gosh his what is he doing in this movie <laughs> oh it yeah it was a lot it wasn't great <laughs> It wasn't. And then later, like, the photo they have of him, like, okay, Mr. Vogue. Like, literally, (laughs) what was with that photo? That's not a government-issued photo. It's not. That's a photo they took out of some, like, model catalog that he was in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's from uh, Men's GQ. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Winter edition. Uh, um, back in LA, Natalie and Pete are moving in together, and the girls start dancing to MC Hammer when Hammer Time comes on because, like, that's what Let's you go. do. Yeah, that is exactly. Um, what you do. Jason then comes over, and we learn that he and Alex are on a break, but then he invites them all to his movie premiere. Was it Maximum Extreme 2? I know they're making fun yes. of Mission Impossible, yeah, but <laughs> couldn't, yeah couldn't remember the name (laughs) um and so yeah they all get invited to the movie premiere before they get called into the office they get to the office and we see that there is a new bosley bernie mac oh um he is the older brother of the old Bosley bosley who was adopted yeah that's how they like make this explain work. that one yeah They're like yeah he, he's my adopted brother like that's literally what he said so like my adopted brother has not been looking at these numbers i was like really did you really have mm. to <laughs> do that much exposition bernie <laughs> but they did they I, they were like you know what we can't let anybody think that this was a mistake <laughs> He literally didn't even have to be his brother, but we'll 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 keep going. Um, Charlie then gives them the details on their next mission. Yeah, so they then get their mission from Charlie um, about 
finding this program within the witness protection program called Halo. Which, of course, is called Halo. Halo by Beyonce. Um, yes. And it's a list how can I explain this it's a list that is encrypted on two rings one held by the marshal service why I don't know and one by the department of defense and and it has a list of every single person within the witness protection program and you need both of the rings together for it to work Mm -hmm. it's it's basically like one of those uh there's multiple keys to open this thing but if we separate them into different sections no one will be able to find them exactly um also why they carry them around everywhere they go makes absolutely i'll just keep talking Uh, (laughs) and so um, they find out that one person on the list has already been killed so they make their way to that crime scene to investigate and bring Bosley so he can help them read some body language, LOL. Uh, he doesn't do anything, by the he way. He doesn't do anything. He literally is a hindrance, but they bring yes. him anyway. Yeah. And so they get to the crime scene and they talk their way into the house because the cop who I thought was Owen Wilson, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's Andrew <laughs> Wilson. Apparently, there's another one of them. There's another Wilson. Didn't know there were three Wilsons. I only there's thought there three. Were, I only thought there was two. Yes, his name is Andrew Wilson. Oh my gosh, where did I, they all come from? <laughs> I have no idea, but I legit thought it was Owen Wilson. Oh my! I gosh. literally like when I first wrote my notes, I put in Owen Wilson, and then I Owen learned Wilson. when I was doing my um. Your movie facts? My movie facts. Thank you. When I was doing my movie mm-hmm. facts, that it was Andrew Wilson. And I was like, who was Andrew Wilson? <laughs> right. And that's how I found out there was a third. Oh, my gosh. That family just keeps... I think we're good on them. Yeah, that family just keeps pushing out clones. And I think we should Honestly, really investigate though. them. They have a factory yeah. somewhere. Mm-hmm. It's just a and whole I don't bunch know if of, we need any more. It's just a whole bunch of like the same looking man coming out going, hey. <laughs> <laughs> they sent all three out because they didn't know how the other two were going to do. Yeah. And they needed this to work or the government funding would, um, would dry up. Yeah, we're currently in a pilot program. <laughs> <laughs> so far, it's going pretty successful. Yeah. Two, of, two of the three are doing fine. Yeah. They might have to decommission the third. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry, third uh, Wilson. Sorry, Andrew. Uh, Yeah, but like they go into the house and um, the cop is all like, he choked to death, but they're like, no, he didn't. (laughs) He was smothered to death. They have all this knowledge from just glancing at stuff. I mean, they actually did some work. He just walked in. It was like, he choked to death. And they were like, um, well, someone broke into this house. There's a shoe print. And there's no sign in his mouth that he choked on anything. So they actually did some work. He just came in. It was all like, oh, accident. But the way that Dylan, like, knew the exact shoe, where it was sold. That was hilarious. (laughs) She looked at the shoe print. She oh, looked the, at the shoe the, print. The, yeah. And she was like, this is a something Jordan shoe. Mm-hmm. Um, only sold at the outlet mall and blah, blah, blah. And I was right. like, what? And then they right. were all like, and due to the impression of the shoe, we can <laughs> tell that he has a scar on his upper like Love leg. Me. And I was like, what? Yeah. And she's like, and that it was a... um a tear of his ligament or whatever and that's why it gives him this weird limp and i'm like yeah girl like, that <laughs> makes absolutely no sense and then they find um board jail on like the door oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. did to like slip his credit card in wax yeah to get in and they were all like well he's a surfer mm-hmm. and i was like um 
sure. Um, and, okay. <laughs> and then they were all like, also, there's a um, there's a storm in Baja, Mexico right now, which means that there's going to be great waves at the oh beach. So gosh. he's probably at the beach. And I'm like, after he just murdered someone? Right. You know, is that how he like cools off after a murder? It just goes and catches some waves? I mean, it would be a great way to get rid of evidence true you just immediately go to the beach jump into the water everything washes right off of you exactly but yeah so they find out they're like he's a surfer has a scar in his knee size 10 shoe go <laughs> um pineapple board wax yes. we're going to the beach but first they have to go to alex's house to get their surfboards um and so they get to alex's house and Alex's dad is there and he's British for some reason. Yeah. And he is not aware that Alex is a spy or whatever the angels are. I don't really know. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think we... in the first one, Charlie, they're like, what are they? They mentioned that they're like a detective agency, but like they're full on spies. Yeah, 100%. Like this they, is not a detective agency. It's not a detective agency in the slightest. Mm-mm. They also break many, many laws. Yeah, and they're not recognized by any other law agency. I mean, they are, but only I mean, for like help on like assignments. And then, yeah, like it, yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah, whatever agency they are, it's. I guess everybody knows who they are, but we don't know if they're like. <laughs> I think they just tolerate them because they get stuff done. They're like, sure. I, guess, I guess so. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Go, go do your stuff. <laughs> yeah. And so Alex's dad doesn't know that she's whatever she is. And so <laughs> he thinks that she's a doctor, nurse. A I doctor? don't know. Yeah. Let's say doctor because she says that. Um, Natalie and Dylan are doctors so let's say Mm -hmm. that they're doctors she uh, tells him that Natalie works in the psych ward and Dylan is the head of gyno yay yay at the fake hospital they work at yes and then he's like cool 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 and so she makes an excuse she's like we have surgery and I'm like how would you all have surgery together (laughs) (laughs) work in different departments all work in different departments (laughs) This I'm is like, not an episode of Grey's Anatomy. No, which, mm, don't get me started on that. <sighs> so they leave and they head off to the beach. Um, at the beach, Dylan and Alex set up shop at uh, the hot dog on the stick that is at the beach for some reason. While, even though those are only in malls, like I've never seen, <laughs> like I'm not in a mall. But like, do they even have those anymore? Uh. I haven't seen one in a The one at my mall is gone. It's been gone for like two years. So I don't Yeah, think... I don't I don't think they're in business anymore. Oh, poor thing. Going Aww. going the route of Sabaro. The Sabaro at my oh, mall. Oh not Sabaro. Also... Sabaro at my mall is also gone. I think the Sabaro at the uh, uh Concord one is still there. Oh. Good for Concord. Yeah. Yeah. And they redid the, the the food court a while ago, and they, they survived. Did. And I was like, "Good for them." <laughs> they they did. Good for them. It it looks mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. Um, I hate going down to that first floor because I don't want to be heckled by the shoe people. But oh, same. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are uh, ruthless out there. Ruthless. <laughs> Like, I could be wearing sandals and y'all will try to get me over. Like, hey, I could clean those for you. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like, I'm like, dude, these are $5 from Old Navy. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm I'm really good. Yeah, I don't need, I don't need a spit shine or anything or you to sell me something for a flip flop that I will, will replace <laughs> next year. <laughs> Just go to Old Navy and get the $1 flip flops. Exactly. Uh where was I? I completely <laughs> lost my place. We were at the beach. They're we at, at the, the beach. beach, yes. Yes. And so um, they have Bosley check random dudes 
uh, boards to look for <laughs> pineapple sex wax. Um, while Natalie gets approached by former angel Madison Lee, who apparently is just like the smartest woman on earth. She won a Nobel Peace Prize. She's an astrophysicist. She invented the molar mic. And then since she's an angel, she has to be like a very adept fighter. Yeah. Because they can all fight. She's, She's basically Alex on steroids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Is Alex the yeah. smart one? Yes, Alex is the smart one. Okay. Is that her role? I thought she was the fighter. And then this movie came out and I was like, oh, I guess that's Natalie now. <laughs> um, and the first movie, she was like the fighter. And then this movie, true. they just like gave that to Natalie. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, did Natalie have a role? What? In the first one? Is Natalie- yeah, in the first one. What was her thing? Is she because I feel like she's always the distraction, or the secretly smart one. Like for I thought she was. Things. I thought she was just like the hot one who could like mm. do like random things that like no one else can do. True. I thought that was her thing. I thought Alex was the smart one who could, or not the mm. smart one. I thought she was like the fighter, and she had like computer yeah, yeah, yeah. skills or whatever. Yeah. Um, Dylan was like the scrappy one. Mm -hmm. or whatever and then natalie was like the like conventionally beautiful one who if you need someone to do bird calls or (laughs) whatever that was like lies bird poop she's the she's the girl lies bird exactly (laughs) that's her thing she's really in the birds oh yeah but yeah um uh madison is the full package she she's everything Mm -hmm. Um, and then so like they talk, get a get like talk about the the newsletter they have for some reason. <laughs> That's her it's explanation so of knowing why they're there. She's like, I get the newsletter. I'm like, but they just decided to come here. But, right. And this but, is a new mission. And why would if you're not part of the agency anymore, why would you be part of an active mission? Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, and then you're so an agency. While Natalie and Madison are talking. Alex spots a possible match for their killer and confirms it when Dylan finds him attractive because she always falls for the bad guy. How terrible. Uh, Alex then tells Dylan how she thinks Natalie will be the first of them to leave because she's with Pete and soon they'll be married and have kids and you know how that all goes. Uh, So Dylan freaks out and then we have a cameo filled dream sequence where Dylan watches as other girls leave. How the other girls leave. And then she's left as an old woman still working, but with a much younger, like, teammates. Yeah, I love that, that um, the Olsen twins are in this. <laughs> yes, and Eve. And Eve. After Natalie leaves, they get Eve. Yes. And then... <laughs> After um, Alex leaves, she gets the Olsen twins. <laughs> I love how they got the Olsen twins into this. Yeah, how much did how much did they drop to get the Olsen exactly. twins? Exactly, exactly. Um, Natalie then goes up to the bad guy to distract him because you know that's one of her roles. Mm-hmm. While Alex and Dylan go through his stuff, but he like is not having it. He's like, oh, I don't yeah, no. He's like, stay back from me, white woman. I'm not having this. Yeah, he's like, not today. No, he's like, I'm too, he's like, I'm prettier than you. I can't let you do this to me. Yeah, he's like, you're going to bring down my attractiveness if if I'm seen with you. He's like, you're most definitely a 10, but I'm a 12. I can't. Yeah, unless you're an 11 or a 12. Yeah. Yeah, Get look away. how look how the sun hits my abs. Like you can't <laughs> no. In fact, does that man wear a shirt at all? No, he does. Never mind. No, he does. He does. At one does point he? in the movie, he wears a shirt. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, and so he drives off, but they're able to get his stuff. They get his ID. Learn his name is Randy Emmers, even though that is a white man's name and that man is not white. 
Yeah, he is nobody's white. <laughs> he is not white in the slightest. Um, and they also get the possible name and location of his next target. Yes. So they go to a motocross race where Pink is in charge. Yes, <laughs> Pink! There are so many people in this movie that I forgot were in this movie. There, there was a... Um, I think there was a movie fact that literally had all of the names of every single cameo. And I was like, this is too many. I was like, I can't do all of this. There were more? There, Girl, there's so many cameos. Some I didn't even notice until I read the list. Like, oh, I'll tell you about one of them when we get to it. Okay, okay, okay. So um, they also spot Emmer's and his target leo so natalie joins the race to protect leo and they notice leo because he has a lion on his helmet um during the race emmers kills a lot of people (laughs) like a lot of people these poor guys that just came out to be part of this dirt bike race they just get annihilated they get murdered yeah and like no one like stops the race running they just let it keep going I know Pink said that it was a really competitive race, but like, yeah, but I don't like, think she meant death. Like, there's one guy literally murdering people and they didn't stop the race. Yeah, no one thought that was strange. Nope. There's like, oh, keep going. And then so he, he also almost kills Leo. So mm-hmm. Dylan and Alex enter the race and they all go to take out Emmer's. The Amazon delivery guy just scared the sh- crap out of me. <laughs> um, Emmer's then uh, <laughs> he like full, <laughs> fully turns around in midair and yes. shoots at the girls and like misses. And then he goes up again, goes upside down, <laughs> not yeah. holding onto the bike at all, and shoots at them again and hits Natalie's bike and it explodes. And instead of killing her, she just gets blown onto Dylan's bike. Yeah. Who was like 10 feet away from her. This scene does not make any sense. Nope. No. As as we have stated before, physics and gravity do not apply to. Oh, the, uh, it's it's no, it's so bad in this movie. It's yeah. so bad. Wait until we get to like the final fight. It's so bad. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, like talking about wire work, like that we mentioned in the beginning. it's like this movie's number one trick, and they drive it into the ground. I will say the wire work in this movie is better than the wire work in Oz: The Great and Powerful. <laughs> really. <laughs> It is. It it is, Kelly. Oh. It really is. And so, um, Emmer then tries to shoot Leo, but someone in an all black outfit drives towards Emmer and stabs him in the chest, killing him. Or if that didn't kill him, maybe landing on his head did <laughs> when yeah, he fell. Either way, either way, <laughs> he died. Um, Dylan then takes the necklace of this mysterious person while they take out a chunk of Dylan's hair before they crash into a pillar but they don't die die yeah <laughs> like oh, they, cra- they crash into it their bike explodes but they don't die yeah she like rolls on the floor for a little bit yeah about- <laughs> we didn't see that the person who killed emmers was the thin man from the first movie <gasps> not the thin man never would have known when they started playing his music when they first showed him <laughs> Of course not. Or the fact that he grabbed and ripped out her hair like he did in the first movie. Yeah, that that wasn't giving it away at all. That was a total shock. Yeah, I was completely floored. Yeah. And then he (laughs) just gets up and drives away. Yeah. What he was doing there, who knows? Yeah, we don't we don't get an explanation for that ever. No. Uh, We also see that Leo is a 15 year old. And on Emmer's body, they find photos of other potential vi- victims, including mm-hmm. Helen Zaz, who is Dylan. <gasps> Why they gave her this terrible name, <laughs> I, I don't mean... know. Is it for these terrible butt chokes? 
he it's has. for the it's for the terrible butt jokes and like to continue with all of the innuendos that they put into this movie. Oh, great! It's not childish so at all. Of course not. It's high level uh, comedy. Yeah, it's not something a child would do. Of course not. Why they can't even think that high? This is no, no, no. This God is tier comedy. This is top tier. <laughs> adult comedy of course (laughs) um back at the agency dylan then tells everyone of how when she was younger she witnessed her mob boyfriend seamus o'grady kill someone and she testified against him and put him away and so that's why she was in the witness protection program um what i love is that he murdered someone in front of her and it was just like if you tell anyone, I'll kill you. And it's like, why Why do it in front of me then? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, there's always a chance I'll tell. Like, why would you commit a crime in front of someone? <laughs> like, and then... Exactly. And then be shocked when they tell the cops on you. Honestly, that's the downfall of somebody. That is the downfall. It's the straight up downfall. Because like... You're gonna leave a witness. Yeah. And it's like your your girlfriend or like your best friend, whatever, they're gonna turn on you, bro. Yeah. Like nope. it doesn't matter. That's why I don't believe in accomplices. Because those are just mm. witnesses. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. He's he made a grave mistake doing that, but you know, he, mm. he was young and stupid, so only so much you can expect from a child a child murderer um yes <laughs> and then like at the exact same time she's talking about Seamus Seamus is released is released from prison and given the rings of he is. and the and a photo of Dylan hi um and then we learn <laughs> uh that Leo's real name is Max and he says that his parents worked with the O'Grady's and then were murdered by them or something like that. And he testified against them. So the girls realize that the O'Grady's have the rings. And they're like, uh, ah, mm-hmm. can't have that. Nope. They'll be looking for Helen's ass. So that big old ass. That big old ass. <laughs> and so. Oh no, we made a booty joke. Oh no. From the Helen's ass. Oh no. <laughs> um, and then so they're like, oh, we gotta do something about Max because he's a he's a big um target. A target. This child is a target <laughs> for this, this mob. And so uh Bosley's like, I know exactly where he can go. And so he goes to stay with Bosley's mom in South Central. <laughs> Because honestly, that was a great idea. Like the Irish mob yeah. is not going to the hood. They're no, just they're not. not. And Bosley really know what he was doing. He knew he what really he was doing. He was like, we barely get white people here. We definitely not going to get Irish mob. <laughs> <laughs> and if they do come, we're going to know the minute they're there. The minute they're there. Like this, like my mother is a staple in this community. If anyone comes on her block, like Mm -hmm. she'll she'll be she'll be alerted. Yeah, everyone will know about it. Yes. Um, and so the girls then make their way to the orphanage that Max went to, lived at. I don't know that his situation. Yeah. Also, if he was in the witness protection program, I don't know why they put him in an orphanage, but whatever. Whatever. Because he noticed, Um, because Max noticed that the necklace that Dylan stole from the Thin Man was from the orphanage he was at. So, so they go there. Um, They pose as nuns and they question the mother superior. Who the mother superior is Carrie Fisher. What? Carrie Fisher. That's Carrie Fisher. Yeah, I didn't know it was her either until <gasps> I, I told you when I was. There are people in this movie who you don't know is in this movie. Oh my gosh! I have another one have for to you look, too. I have to look that up later. What the heck? 
And uh, she talks about the thin man who they named Anthony. They found him in the woods or something. They believe he was a part of like a Romanian circus or something. <laughs> something was, ridiculous when, like that. When they said the, um, the the tragic backstory for the thin man, I'm literally like, it. he's Robin from <laughs> yeah. DC. His parents he, were part he, of a trap bees act and they died and now he has to go to an orphanage yes, he's robin <laughs> he's robin he's robin if robin didn't get picked up by a rich billionaire exactly and turned out really creepy yeah um she then goes on to tell how he's mute has a weird fetish for hair oh. and is the sole benefactor of the orphanage and he also that he still comes back for haircuts yes at this specific orphanage yes and during yeah. this during these health haircuts it's very disturbing i don't know why they keep letting him come back yeah like i understand that he's a benefactor and that money do be helping but like there must be a line yeah <laughs> there must be a line also side question i'm not going to explain why but were you triggered like i was by what the music in this at the beginning of the scene oh absolutely <laughs> okay good. absolutely i you know what i had to pause the video for, for a couple <laughs> seconds so i can like breathe and then i <laughs> then i went back in i think i kind of just ignored it i was because okay there's, good there's so many sound of re- music references everywhere i kind of just ignore it at this point like i don't even get annoyed anymore i just ignore it yeah yeah like i yeah i think i couldn't ignore that one because it was the music and it was kind of triggering <laughs> Yeah, and then so the mother superior is like, yeah, we don't ever really see him that much except for those weird haircuts. Um, haircuts. But he uh. did send us a car this morning, and they go to look at the car, and it's Emmer's car. <laughs> he just stole <laughs> Emmer's car and gave it to them. Um, but thankfully, he did because Natalie finds bird poop on it and is able to track the bird that pooped on it to San Pedro Harbor. <laughs> Yes, she can. By the go, look of it. Go the, bird girl. <laughs> by the look of it, she could somehow tell what algae was in the poop and that it smelled like um oil runoff. And then they were all like, it's San Pedro Harbor. Wow. I don't, yeah. Uh, her brain is literally just full of random information. Random information. But like it's good for her job, so it is. So I guess I'm glad she's in this job. Yeah, but I love when people find what makes them happy. Exactly. <laughs> um, back at Alex's house, Jason comes over to water the plants for some reason. I don't know if he's yeah. living there still or not. I. I mean, it seems like it since he's watering the plants, because I feel like if you were on a break with your significant other, you wouldn't show up back at their place to water the plants. But like, what is their break then? They're just not having sex. (laughs) Like, is that that the extent of their break? This is as clear as the breakup that was in um, Friends. Okay, it's... uh, are they broken up? No idea. Are they on a break? Sure, I guess. But what sure. does that mean? Yeah, what does Nobody that mean? Knows. <laughs> I don't know how you take a break in a relationship anyway, but you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. um, um, and so Jason meets Alex's dad for the first time, and then he badly explains Alex's job to him. <laughs> and this is where I'm confused because does he does Jason not understand what Alex does or was he just badly explaining it? Because I the think way... he understands what she does. Because the way... I don't think because the way he was it explaining correctly. it didn't seem like he did. Yeah, he was very general. Yeah. And I understand why the father thought what he thought. Mm-hmm. I do too. But may- but maybe he already assumed that the father knew. But he couldn't have because he was sitting there explaining I, it to him. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know either. It was it was bad. 
It, it, it got really it got really bad it, and it just yeah. gets worse and it gets worse. worse every single time yeah we then cut to san pedro harbor and they're staking out the o'grady warehouse headquarters whatever that Workplace? was place yeah know. and they see either a burlesque or strip club across the street i don't know which one it was um, that the Christina workers... Aguilera burlesque <laughs> part two go go listen to our episode on burlesque I think that was last week um, yeah, it was last week <laughs> um and they're like we could go in there we could steal someone's key card to get in and then the girls then perform with the pussycat dolls and that was the pussycat dolls <laughs> it was the pussycat dolls Jordan I told you there are cameos in this and you literally don't know what they are. I feel like I didn't watch this movie <laughs> like correctly. I am I need I need the full list later. This is blowing yes. my mind. Yeah, and so they perform with the Pussycat dolls and they steal a man's key card and give it to Bosley to use to sneak into the O'Grady warehouse factory. Mm -hmm. Whatever whatever <laughs> um the girls are then snuck in via hollowed out sculpture and are able to get the rings before they are caught by Seamus uh he takes the rings and then they turn off the lights and start communicating in morse code I believe <laughs> yeah um, I, I that's the only thing I, that it could be I don't know why but they were doing that and then Seamus mm -hmm. turns on the lights. They start fighting with all the people. Um, Dylan is doing okay fighting Seamus at first. And then I don't know what happens. I think she just gets scared because yeah. Seamus takes over that fight and like almost kills her. Yeah. Um, but they uh, she gets away somehow. Um, Alex is able to I think it was Alex. Alex is able to get the rings. They all get out of the factory. No, they were on a ship at this point. And I don't know how that happened. He, he, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're on a ship. Now. I thought they were, I thought they were in a warehouse. I thought they were too, but then they literally get off of a ship. Yeah, so, it doesn't show them like running along a ship so that we can get the context that they're on a ship. <laughs> The only context we the get ship. is that they jump off a ship. They like slide mm -hmm. down the little like ropes that are like anchoring Anchored. it to the dock. And then Seamus jumps off <laughs> from the ship to the dock. And so that's the and only survives and survives. Like his kneecaps are completely fine. And yeah, that's the only reference we get that they were on a ship. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's insane. And so uh, they then cause a fire to allow them to escape. And Alex and Natalie get to a boat, but Dylan gets left behind when an explosion like knocks her down. And she sees Seamus. Why was she the only one that was knocked down? I don't know, Kelly. I can't explain that to you <laughs> at all. Because they were literally <laughs> right next to her when it happened. Yes. And then, yeah, Seamus just walks through fire. Like, it's nothing. And... Um, he threatens Dylan by saying that he'll kill Natalie and Alex. Uh, Dylan then runs to the boat and they escape. Oh, oh my gosh. I have some words about this. Um, we then cut to Pete's 10th high school anniversary. <laughs> These people look like they were 40. Yeah. We are seven, we, me and Kelly are seven yeah, years yeah. out of high school. Yes, we don't we, we don't look anywhere near as old as no. these people god no and i hope i don't look anywhere near what they look like when three years comes around i hope i don't look that old in 20 years like exactly they look old so yeah, incredibly I, old yeah th somebody got something wrong on the cards that was not a 10-year reunion it was like a 25 that's a 20-year reunion easily yeah yeah there is no way y'all are looking like that at your 10th. Absolutely not. And then um, at it, Natalie learns that 
Pete was also his school's mascot, like she was. And while she's in the bathroom, she, she, so she has to go to the bathroom. Yes. And for some reason, the woman's bathroom is just locked. Why? Yeah, it was Who knows? There odd. was no sign on the door or anything. It was just locked. And so she yeah. goes to the to the men's room, which, sure, why not? Yeah, why not? It's just a bathroom. I've done it. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, nope. And while she's in there, she hears two men talk about how Pete is going to ask her about something very important. <gasps> and then while trying to hide the fact that she's in the bathroom, she's like pushing against the like walls of the stalls and just knocks over all of the stalls. Yeah. I, I there there was a better way to do that there was you could have just stood on top of the toilet like a yeah. normal human being but yeah. you know that also worked for a while mm. yeah and so natalie's like really scared because she thinks that Pete's gonna ask her to marry him and they like just moved in together yeah i would also be fast. scared same <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, and then so we go to Alex's house and Jason is still explaining Alex's job <laughs> to her, her dad. <laughs> and he now thinks she's an escort. Fine. Yes. And so um, <laughs> Alex then comes in and not knowing what Jason says, said, just like adds fuel to the fire by oh, saying yeah. that she's on a team with Dylan and Natalie and that they just took on a team of sailors and that she's covered in <laughs> Lord knows what before kissing him. <laughs> I would have threw up <laughs> all over the place. Same. Same. The fact that he does not just pass out is is incredible. Look, that's a true father right there. It really is. Like, I was going to mention this later at the end of the movie, but like, he is so supportive of her. He is so supportive. <laughs> like... Look, I don't, I don't care what job you have, but if you had said all yeah. of that to me and then kissed me on the mouth, I swear yeah. I would have thrown up I, mm. all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Because I I respect what you do. I'm glad you found a line of work that you love. But like, do not knowingly put anything on me. No. From whatever you just came from. <laughs> no. Thank you. <laughs> don't. Uh, and then after this, we go, we just go immediately back to natalie yeah. at the yeah. dance um and she's dancing with pete but like he's like i need to ask you something and then so she just breaks out into a dance number and this i this, think they did this whole reunion just so she can have the dance number i feel like it's a necessity to give a, to give natalie a dance number in every movie mm. and so she breaks out in her dance number and this like distracts pete and so he's like, we can talk about it later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why not? Um, at the uh, We go to the agency and Dylan drops off a box of all the girls' things and a note before she leaves. The oh. next morning, everyone shows up and they realize that she left because she doesn't want them to get hurt or whatever, which doesn't make any sense, but okay. She's uh, protecting them. Sure. <laughs> um and charlie's like okay who cares we have a job to do <laughs> yeah he wasn't very supportive on that on that front yeah he's like uh he's like pick your chins up we we got stuff to do he's like yeah he's like boohoo i gotta go interview some more angels now that D uh, dylan's yeah. gone he's like made my job so much harder he's like uh, thanks dylan uh oh and also seamus did not escape prison he was released yay Yay. And so they're like, what? That don't make no sense. Yeah. And then uh, all of this happens right before Marshall Carter comes over to pick up the rings. Um, and as he is leaving, Bosley throws him some keys and he catches them, revealing that his <gasps> rims are fine. So they're like... Suspicious. Uh, he must have released Seamus because, you know, a U.S. Marshal has the authority to do that. Of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so they're like, we need to go after him. And so they 
go after him while he's driving down the road like literally while he's driving down the road like alex pulls out and like a little hill roller thingy i I don't know how to explain it i don't either think of it like a a, go-kart it's like a it's like a bodyboard thing that you lay on your back and ride yeah and then she Ugh. suctions herself to his car mm-hmm. and somehow connects to his phone line, which made absolutely no sense, but she did yeah, it. Yeah, via something in the car. Yeah, she just like hooks it to his car and then she's connected to his phone. I'm like, that makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then she hears a riddle that he's sending to all the buyers for the rings to meet, mm-hmm. you know, to buy the rings. Mm -hmm. Um, before Bosley is sent out to stop his car so that Alex can get unhooked because she runs over the biggest rocks I've ever seen in my entire life. (laughs) How she didn't flip is surprising. I don't know. I don't know. Um, And so when when he stopped, you know, she gets out. And so they're like, yay, we have this information. Also, how how he didn't think it was suspicious that kids had to cross the road in the middle of nowhere yeah that was weird yeah where did they get all these kids dude also that one kid was hilarious yes he was he didn't have a name but i know him as the kid from the haunted mansion movie so yeah he was hilarious he was like don't touch my fro you don't touch a black man's fro no (laughs) I was like, he he's black, but whatever. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yeah, they got this information. Meanwhile, Dylan is in Mexico, and she walks into a bar where, uh, like, some random man just slaps her ass, but she lets it slide for some reason. Uh, no, you never let that slide. Never let slide. that slide. <laughs> she then has a hallucination of original angel Kelly Garrett from the tv show i think i don't know i've never seen it um giving her advice and she realizes that she must go back and on her way out that same man slaps her ass again that's why that's why you never let it slide the first time exactly um and so she throws him into a jukebox (laughs) as she she should the first time yes um we didn't cut to griffith observatory where Marshall Carter meets up with his quote unquote partner <laughs> before they kill mm-hmm. him. And it's revealed to be Madison. Shocker. <gasps> no way. No way. I did not see that coming. Um, and then while she's <laughs> talking to Alex and Natalie, Dylan is mysteriously there and tries to sneak attack Madison, but yeah. she sees it coming, knocks her out poor thing um yeah, the girls you tried your best the girls then reveal that they knew it was madison the entire time because <gasps> of her love of astronomy and her contacts in mongolia i didn't think that astrophysics and astronomy were the same thing but a, yeah that's just me it i didn't felt th- like a stretch um i didn't look up the differences but i feel like there's a difference yeah just saying Mm -hmm. um madison then shoots the three of them and leaves them thinking they're dead and takes the rings also question um she said that in her day they used guns why don't they now i don't know oh i know (laughs) i know why they don't use i know why they don't use guns in this movie but as an agency i don't know (laughs) i don't know (laughs) Okay, like in, in the modern world, you should be using guns. If yeah. you're doing this type of work, you need a gun. You need a gun. Sorry right. to say so, but uh, you need a gun. You need a gun. Look, look, and I don't like guns. I, I really don't. And mm. this is coming from me. If you're doing this type yes. of work, you need a gun. Yeah. Point I mean, blank period. It's literally, it's literally them showing up with a knife to a gunfight. That's, exactly. Actually, they didn't even bring a knife. You're not gonna make it out alive. <laughs> yeah, they brought their um 
they're brute force to deal with <laughs> yeah. a girl who's got two golden guns. Two guns. Two very beautiful golden guns, by the way. Yeah. Very, very pretty. I'm not I'm not into like guns and I barely know anything about them. Um, but uh those are actually pretty nice. I don't know if that can be real, but they look pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Very pretty, very pretty. Mm -hmm. Um and so Madison then heads over to the agency and Charlie calls and she answers. And we learn that Madison has always been bad at teamwork. And after a case went wrong and she almost died, she decided to go work for herself, which fair. If this <laughs> whole agency is built on teamwork, why wasn't she fired? I don't know, Kelly. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just asking. And then we get a very dramatic line, like ext like way too dramatic for oh, no yeah. reason. Yeah. Where she says, I was never good. I was great. While a single teardrop falls and then she shoots Charlie's speaker. <laughs> <laughs> she she really thought she put her whole soul into that line how but long? it just it just how, looked ridiculous how long do you think she's waited to say it though <laughs> like a good 10 years oh 100 because and the even fact, the and the fact that she's like holding her gun sideways yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i know she had to have like practiced that because the context yeah. in which she used it made no sense mm-hmm -mm. Because he was like, I know you're mm -hmm. a good person, Madison. And then she was just like, Yeah. I was never good. I was great. And I was like, What? <laughs> she did not know the context. She was not listening. Not at all. Like, she was because not listening. He, she just heard yeah, good. He, and she was like, It's yeah. my cue. Yeah. She's all like, I'm insulted. She like went into a blind rage. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> I am better than good. I am great. Okay. At least, at least she didn't waste as much mo uh, money as Vivian did in the first one. Like she didn't blow up the entire oh. place. She just shot the oh, speaker. Oh yeah. A speaker can right. easily be replaced. Exactly. So I bet. So I bet Charlie was like, "Oh, at least she didn't cost me as much money as Vivian." Exactly. He's all like, "Thank God." It's like I cannot rebuild my office again. Right. <laughs> Right, he's all like, we've already had budget cuts. Yes, I am financially um, strapped. Yeah, so please do not break anything else on your way out. Just shoot my um, speaker and leave. <laughs> please, please, please only shoot the speaker. <laughs> please. Yes, he's all like, my insurance company is tired from of hearing from me. <laughs> yes, they were like, <laughs> you have one more claim. <laughs> that's yeah it. <laughs> just one they see charlie's name pop up on the thing and they're like i'm not taking that <laughs> i'm not taking this call <laughs> charlie's like i already had to fire my old bosley to get a cheaper bosley <laughs> like <No>! I, <laughs> I i can't afford a new office oh, right gosh. now they also <laughs> tried to destroy my beach house like i am a wreck right now <laughs> Exactly. He's Mike, like, at least Natalie left the um the organization. That's one less person I have to pay. Yeah, like my expenditures are through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, my accountant is not gonna like this. Like, I'm so happy Dylan quit because if I had fired her, I would have to pay her um unemployment. I don't have the money for that right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, have you seen <laughs> Alex's house? I pay very well. I exactly. can't afford exactly. this. Exactly. Uh, but yeah um way too dramatic <laughs> yeah way too dramatic i just know demi moore was like i need something dramatic and they were like sure <laughs> <laughs> she read the original line and then she's like it did not come back to sign on to this movie to not have one great line yeah i need something that people I will need remember something. yes even it needs though that's to be my moment. Even though honestly, that's not the thing I remember most from this movie. The thing I remember most from this movie happens at the end. But we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we cut back to the observatory, and the girls are still alive because of their Kevlar vests. And um, 
they how make... long were they laying there i don't a very long time because <laughs> oh. she has time to go from the um what is it called the observatory observatory all the way to their office and plant a bomb and, in their car and plant a bomb in their car and they're still laying there yeah and yeah. with la traffic she probably took like an hour and a half to get there <laughs> oh my gosh imagine take- how awkward it is to just sit in traffic for an hour after you think you just killed three people <laughs> and you're on your way to like chew out a man on a speaker <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's why she got her terrific one line. She had way too much time to think about it. <laughs> yep, that's that's when she started planning it. She was in the car. Yeah. She was like, yeah. what, am, what am I going to say? Yeah. I need something to really <laughs> shake him up. Right. She's like, I need him to understand where I'm coming from. And the, next, I feel. And the next thing she knew, she was in the parking lot. She's like, shit, I'll just make it up. I, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> She's not like, I've been workshopping this whole thing and I only have one line. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll get it. 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 I have to say it as my last line too, or, yes. or it won't be dramatic enough. Or it won't count. Yeah. So yeah, um, the girls make their way to the car. It explodes. So they make a plan to try to outsmart Madison because, you know, smartest woman on earth. Mm-hmm. That night, which also happens to be the night of Jason's movie premiere, the buyers go to their locations. They pay for, you know, the list. I don't know how that's yeah. going to work. Isn't there yeah, only one list? But they all pay mm-hmm. um, while Madison prepares. Um, all the gangs make their way to the top floor of the Roosevelt Hotel when um Seamus is making his way up to the top floor he notices that one of the um bellhops has a very luscious booty (laughs) and so (laughs) at the top of the Roosevelt Hotel all of the gangs are there except for Seamus's Hmm. (laughs) and they're waiting for Madison but they are met by the FBI and our arrested while Madison gets to the roof at the top of the Los Angeles theater and it's met with a telescope aimed at the Roosevelt and the angels are revealed to have masterminded everything <gasps> the angels have done it again <laughs> what I'm very confused at is how was Madison watching this then like she was in her hotel room or wherever she was and she was watching them hand was it natalie the money how did that work so i don't know (laughs) i don't know how that worked (laughs) honestly (laughs) but we'll the movie's almost over we'll just keep going yeah it's cool (laughs) um and so madison tries to shoot them but they're like ready for her this time and they disarm her instead Mm -hmm. of bringing and they still don't have guns (laughs) no (laughs) (laughs) Uh, and so they disarm her and then they like try to go after her but then she pulls out either a grenade or a bomb i don't know the difference i thought it was a trigger for a bomb i thought that thing was the bomb because of what happens no later. because she like i thought like when she okay when know. we get to the part that happens later i'll tell yeah, you yeah, why yeah, i yeah, think yeah. it is the bomb but okay 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 and so uh Right when she like pulls out either the bomb or the trigger or whatever, we'll discuss it later. Uh, <laughs> the, the O'Grady's come in because Seamus recognized Dylan's ass when she posed as the bellhop. He literally says, I would recognize that ass anywhere. <laughs> I was like, wow. The obsession is strong. How long has it, it's how been long has eight it been? years, Kelly. <laughs> But honestly, what do we expect from a man who whose only possession in prison was a picture of Helen? Like he I know, but that was so long ago. And it was it was of her front, not of her butt, dude. I, I don't know, Kelly. I don't know. Victoria Victoria Monet does have a song called Ass Like That. So maybe some are so amazing you just don't forget them. 
I, I guess. I, I guess. Encountered, I haven't encountered a mesmerizing ass yet, so um, I guess. Wow, that hurt my feelings, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. You do have a dumpy. Yes. You got a little Tonka truck back there that you're yes. hauling everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. I like to thank my thighs and my butt. Thank you. We love your thunder thighs. It's yes, beautiful. we do. Back to the fight. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Dylan starts to fight Seamus. Natalie fights Madison in like wire work extraordinaire. Oh like gosh, they are yes. literally defying gravity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and Alex is fighting the mob members when the thin man comes out of literally nowhere. Like he just comes out of the shadows yeah! like Batman. <laughs> and then he like saves Alex by stabbing a man. He then yeah. goes after Sh- yeah, he then goes after Seamus. And seemingly kills him before making out with Dylan and ripping out more of her hair. I know she has a bald spot. I, oh, I, 100%. And I'm going to say multiple because how long has it been since the last time he's pulled a chunk of her hair? A couple of days, maybe? Yeah, she's got, she's got at least three yeah. little bald spots. Poor Dylan. Yeah. Also, um, what is the, what what went on between them there? I what could was not that? tell you. Could it was not tell confusing. you. Very confusing. Very <laughs> um, yeah. confusing. Seamus then comes out of nowhere, stabs the thin man, and he falls off the roof to his death. Uh, Seamus then, I don't know how this happens but dylan is left hanging off of like the side of the building and then he uh, uses like her lighter to like try to burn her hands off so she'll let go but then she defies gravity flips up with one hand kicks glass into his eyes and then he just like from the pain doesn't know where he is falls off falls to the ground and dies and then she like grabs her lighter at the same exact like swooping moment. She like grabs it with one hand and is like, cool, I'm done. Yeah. Very I, weird. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. What whatever martial arts class they're taking, like, can I try? Right. It, like just, it's it seems a little intimidating, but uh, yeah, I'll try. I'd like to I'd like to defy gravity. I'll try any workout once. Right, exactly. Where do we uh, sign up? Yeah, where is that at? Someone send us a link. <laughs> S-Y-T-Y-I podcast at gmail.com. <laughs> uh, Madison then sets off a bomb she has on the roof. Yes. And, and then threatens to throw another one at the premiere. This is, yes, here. This is why I thought the thing she was holding was a bomb. Because I thought she was holding the trigger. Because she throws it at the premiere. So I'm like, so that's the bomb, right? Or grenade or whatever it was. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. See? No uh, I think I maybe you might be right. I might be right. I might be you right. Might Who be... knows? Uh, yeah. I don't know. But she threw something at them. Yes. <laughs> And so they warn Bosley and he hits it like it's a baseball <laughs> and it just <laughs> it just explodes in the air and no one seems to care. And then the angel Yeah, they think it's part of the celebration. Yeah. Um and then Madison is flying through the air like Batman and the <laughs> girls are like going after her swinging on fairy lights. Yeah. Uh, that should yeah. have worked. And then um, Madison lands, and then she jumps into her car. Natalie lands in her car. <laughs> and then <laughs> um, Dylan and Alex land on the, like, outside of her car, because it's a two-seater. So they just have yeah. to hold on in the back. <laughs> um, Madison then flips the car, causing Dylan and Alex to fly into 
stairs and an, a department store, like respectively. How Dylan yes. didn't die. Oh yeah. no. Dylan should be very much dead. How I'll, I'll let it slide. Any with of them Alex. didn't die. I'll let it slide with Alex. I'll let it slide. Yeah. But Dylan is dead. <laughs> I'm yeah, so it's sorry. One hundred percent. One hundred percent dead. Um, and then this is the most ridiculous part. Uh, um, and then Madison and Natalie drive into a theater via the alleyway and end yeah. up on the stage of the theater without the car. Like the car is not there. Like yeah, it's just, not there anymore. They're just on the stage of this theater. Yeah. Um, Makes no sense. Yeah, First off, I feel like how, this how was they get all very rushed. <laughs> yeah, how did they get into that alleyway? And then where's the car? <laughs> yeah, where's the car? Makes no sense. Yeah, we, we've got some questions. I have a lot of questions. Um, and so inside the theater, Madison and Natalie fight, but Madison gains the upper hand and aims a gun at Natalie's head. Uh, Madison then tells Natalie that she's just like her, but Natalie states that she has something Madison will never have. And then this is the part of the movie that stands out the most for me. Madison like puts her face right <laughs> against Natalie's. I and don't she's, like it. And she's like, what is that? Like yeah. right on her face. I'm like, please kill me. Yeah, <laughs> please, I, I please hate it me. when 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 people do that for like shows Ugh. gross it was really it's very triggering and then, and yeah, then uh-uh. now there's like i got friends and then <laughs> dylan and alex swing out of nowhere yeah what are they swinging on who knows but yeah. they swing out of nowhere and did they oh. have to run into place like really quickly were, were they waiting for like a queue right <laughs> and then so they all take down Madison before she falls down a hole in the stage and shoots at them causing a okay none of this makes sense yeah, no. causing a gas mine that she ruptured when she fell in the hole to explode and yeah. for some reason it didn't explode the entire theater yeah or even like the whole block because mm-hmm. like aren't entire blocks can have like the yes. same gas main yes it's it, literally the 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 explosion literally just happens underneath the stage yeah it just happens underneath the and stage. then like a little poof of fire and smoke come up the hole and that's it that's it and then very weird I don't know if it's the fire or if it's Madison, but you can hear like a screeching noise from within the <laughs> hole. <laughs> Probably Madison. But Madison's dead. Yes. She's like dead, dead. D E D dead, dude. Dead. And so the girls get the rings because the rings are just sitting on the stage for some reason. Um, yeah. And they go to the premiere, which is still going on somehow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's literally in my in my notes. I'm like, how did they still make that premiere? Like, for forget timing. As, forget timing aside, the premiere would have been yeah. shut down. There was an explosion mm-hmm. outside of the premiere. Yes. There was a car crash outside of the premiere. <laughs> like, wh- what? They just yeah, let I... this keep going. And yeah, then they didn't... said, you know what? We've spent way too much money on this. We need people to get inside. Yeah, everyone just get inside. Let's let's go. You'll be fine. Yeah. And so, yeah, um, at the premiere, we learned that Max is adopted by uh, Bosley's mom. Alex tells her dad that they took down a woman and he congratulates her. (laughs) (laughs) She's like, we had her flat on her back. Yeah. (laughs) He's just like, like, well done. Good job. Good job, honey. (laughs) She was like, yeah, it took us a while, but we finally got her on her back. And she's like, I'm so happy for you. Stop telling me about your job. (laughs) He's like, honey, I love you. And I support you no matter what. Yeah, we need boundaries. uh, I don't need, yeah, I don't need to know what you do during your day. No. Just tell me whether it was a good or bad day. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need specifics. Mm Mm-mm. 
<laughs> no thanks. And have you showered between yeah. then and your job? Yeah. Because have, have you uh... cleaned yourself before this time? Right. Are you? Have you disinfected yourself? Yes. Uh, and then what else happens? Um, Alex then like flips over Jason like she always does, um, because yes. he like creeps up on her a lot. Yeah, and he hasn't learned his lesson. Has it? And then she like restarts their relationship. Yay. Yay. Um, also, Pete reveals to Natalie that he wants to adopt a dog together. And she Aww. says yes. And Dylan's watching this as she thinks that he just proposed to Natalie. But then Natalie is like, no, we're, we're, we're getting a dog. And, and she's Dylan, so relieved. <laughs> Dylan is relieved. And then Natalie tells them that um, she isn't leaving the agency anytime soon. And they all celebrate. Yay. Yay. And that's the end of the movie. Ah, Are you ready for the movie facts? Yes. Okay. So Drew Barrymore really wanted Bon Jovi's living on a prayer in her like flashback scene where Seamus kills someone in front of her. Mm-hmm. Um, however, the rights to the song were too expensive, so Drew Barrymore, being the nepotism baby she is, just called Bon Jovi, and he was like, "Sure, why not?" He he literally found a really? loophole so that she could use the song. Wow! Look, in my next Dang. life, I, I want to be a nepotism baby. Yeah, she literally got that pull, dude. How? Uh, sounds great to be rich and how connections it really does i i'd love to have just an ounce of whatever that is yeah just a little bit um bill murray did not want to reprise his role as bosley because he refused (laughs) to work with the director mg mcg is that how it's pronounced that's how i'm gonna pronounce it Mm, he didn't want to work with the that director again so Also, he had problems with Lucy Liu on the first film, but he insisted that wasn't the reason. It, the yeah, reason was he, did, was he didn't want to work with the director again. Mm. Um, Pete's high school reunion is for Rydell High from Greece. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Rydell High. Really? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, this next one answers one of your questions. Um, Drew, oh, Barry- good. Okay. Drew Barrymore is a fervent believer in gun control, and that's why none of the angels use guns. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, sh- sure. There's a movie about spies, yeah, but you know, wh- yeah. whatever, Drew. Whatever. Yeah, it's not like it's, it's not like you're just a regular person with a gun killing. Yeah, people. random people. It's, it's- yeah, you're a, a, a secret agent or whatever you are that's part of an agency that takes down bad people with guns. Yeah, but whatever. So, yeah, well, we're moving on. I'm pro anyone pro gun control, so whatever. Um, and then last one, a third and fourth installment were initially planned to go into production, but after the box office of this movie, Sony canceled them. Instead, hmm. uh, it is called a soft reboot. Instead, we were given okay. a soft reboot with Charlie's Angels 2019. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then that flopped. That happened. So. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah. I will say it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going it wasn't. to be. It's not as bad as you think. It it's is. not. Yeah. Because I, I was very much not going to watch it because I like I like the original Charlie's Angels. I only watched it because it was on TV. Uh, yeah. I watched it, what, like a month ago for the first time. And I was like, you know what? This is, I, I'd sit and watch this again. I wouldn't choose it. But like if it right? was on, I'd watch if, it. If there was nothing else on, I would watch this again. Yeah. But yeah, um, now it's time for the question, Kelly. Is this movie iconic? I think so. I also put yes. Yeah. I mean, as ridiculous as it is, it's a Charlie's Angels movie. And yes. like, 
that's what they are. They're ridiculous. Exactly. I put They're ridiculous. yes for three reasons. The cast, the cameos, and the fight scenes. Even though the fight yeah. scenes are ridiculous, I still love them. Yeah. Like, the cast is iconic. The the plot lines are... Bleh. They're okay. But, like, I love, I love, like three besties just fighting bad guys to save the world it's yeah it's cool the fight scenes are a little extravagant but yeah. i think it works for what kind of movie it is mm-hmm. so i think it's iconic yeah most i definitely. love these movies i would like another one why not yeah i mean why not another one with the original cast to be specific yes <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. not so not 2019 cast no let's be clear no, no. Yeah. They, they they served their purpose. We don't, we don't need that again. Yeah, they did. No. We don't need that again. Okay, Kelly, what are your recommendations for this week? So, I have two recommendations this week. Um first one is a movie. It's called Just Like Heaven. That sounds It's got familiar. Um that's what I said. I saw it on Netflix. And um, I watched. Wait, wait, is that that movie tri- with Reese Witherspoon? Yeah, and um, yes, I've seen it. And she like dies. She does not die. She doesn't die. No, it's yeah, Reese Witherspoon and uh, Mark Ruffalo. I thought she dies, and like she, she like does... lives in her apartment or something like that. She's in a coma. Uh, Spoiler alert! Uh, she's in a coma. They think it. she's dead. They got think it, she's dead, it. but she's in a coma the whole time. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. You're not spoiling it. I have seen it. So okay, okay. <laughs> you're not but spoiling for like it for anybody me. listening. <laughs> um, but yeah, the 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 plot gets a little weird towards the end, like just morally. But I think it's ah, okay. Movie. Well, because well, yeah, he's like tries to steal her body and whatever <laughs> like, from the hospital, and it gets it gets kind of weird there and yeah you know um but it's a really cute movie okay i i like mark ruffalo in the the rom-coms that he's done I've, um yeah he hasn't done many but uh, i think he's only I done do two like that i could think of yeah 13 going on 30 and just like this. heaven yeah yeah if there's more i need to find them and i need to watch them <laughs> um <laughs> and my second um recommendation is as it was by harry styles mm. really good song i can't get out of my head i'm kind of tired of that it might tiktok oh true 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 it does show up on tiktok quite a lot but i feel like that's what gets it stuck in my head all the time now speaking of harry styles i did not watch a single coachella performance this year i kind of yeah. just didn't care about coachella <laughs> I mean, I think the the only thing that I've seen is uh, Harry bringing out Shania. Yeah, I've seen that a lot on TikTok. But like, yeah. other than that, I think Coachella was a flop this year. Yeah, I haven't seen that much Coachella stuff, and the stuff that I do see, like on my Instagram of like people's outfits, I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I don't care. I don't I care. I don't need to see your outfits. I've seen everybody else's for the past couple of years. I know. We missed it to, for like two years, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm done. As 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 someone who just recently went to their first um, music fest, music fest, uh, not here for it. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of time. So much money. A lot of energy. Guys. Oh my gosh, so much money. <laughs> I feel like. I would go to one, but I'd get really tired after the first day. Oh, it's it's extremely tiring. It's so tiring. Yeah. I don't know how people do Coachella. Like I could barely, Honestly. I could barely handle it. And like, the outside lands is like only in San Francisco, mm-hmm. and I could barely handle that. So like being completely away from home. Yeah, in a dirty hot, in a place. dirty hot place could not do me dust no. dusty uh-uh like i'm i'm weird with like with like sand and dust like if i even feel it on my skin i'd i had to, i'd have to take a shower or something i don't mm. think i'd survive out there no i most definitely no. couldn't do it i think there was there was one in vegas that i wanted to go I to was there. 
um i forgot what it was called some girls were talking about it on the shuttle to outside lands can't remember what it was mm-hmm. called but i but i looked up the lineup i was like that's really cool but i was like I'm not doing anything outside in Vegas. Like, that's just not happening. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You would melt. I would die. So, yeah. Music festivals aren't for me. Um, but Outside Lands keeps, like, emailing me about stuff. But I'm like, I <laughs> don't know. They keep e- e- emailing me everything but a lineup. Like, literally everything <laughs> but a lineup. I'm like, um, you want me to buy tickets, but, like, who's performing? I need to see the lineup. Right. Right. Like if I'm you not get, gonna... like if you get like Doja Cat, like I'll buy a ticket. Uh, <gasps> I will. Oh heck yeah! I'll, I'll buy a ticket. I'll suffer. Maybe if I'll Doja buy. Doja is there? I'll go. Maybe I'll just buy a one day ticket and just go on the day she's performing. <laughs> but, Bro, but, I, w- I would. I but, would. I love Doja. Yeah, love. I need someone good to go. Yeah. Uh, Liz- Lizzo was. I'm, kinda, a, I'm picky. Lizzo was good. I saw Kehlani, that was good. I saw Aww, Flo Kehlani. Millie, that was good. I saw a couple other people who were like, okay. But mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't pay to like see them by themselves. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I need someone big. I need mm-hmm. someone good, preferably Miley Cyrus um, or Doja <laughs> Cat. Uh, but Doja. yeah. Yeah, that's all I want in this life is that and then you can get me to go to another music festival but that's True. it uh let's see what are mine i have three my okay. first my first one it's kiss by jojo love this song uh. so such a good song if you have not listened to the deluxe version of good to know go listen to it, it. There's- Good songs on there. She had a song with Tanache. Can't remember the name of it <laughs> right now. Like my brain is like fried. Um, yeah, we're we're done. <laughs> I'm done. Um, but yeah, Kiss is a very good addition to the album. Very good. Yes. Please listen to it. My second one is Men in Black by Will Smith. Love this song. Ah, oh, such a good song. Such a good song. <laughs> Will Smith has some hits. He really does. He really does. He he has about three to four really good hits. Yeah, he three, does. Three or four bangers. This is one of them. It is. I think I only have like three or four Will Smith songs saved on Spotify. Same, same. <laughs> <laughs> We need to wrap up. Yep, we really do. Uh, so my last song, Kelly, I really hope you know the song. And if you don't, you your homework is to listen to it immediately after this okay. recording. It's a song called Slow Jam by Usher featuring Monica. It's amazing. Jordan. What? You don't think I know that song? Thank God you have taste. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm kind of insulted. First off, let me just say, um, we don't have singers like Usher anymore. We really don't. No, we don't. Not in this, not a male singer this day and age. Mm -mm. We, I don't know what we need to do. We need to have like a nationwide search. Right. Because, wow. Also, Usher is amazing at duets. Amazing. Yes. I don't think I've heard a, uh, Usher duet that was not good. True. Um, he has a, and then he does them with like different artists who have like different music styles and they all sound good. He has this song with Monica. He has a song with Mariah Carey. He has a song with Alicia Keys. They're all good. This man somehow can morph two totally different styles together. And yes. it's, it's magic. It's honestly. magic. We don't have this anymore. Um, this It's what I'm taking us back to our Camp Rock episode. I need to open <laughs> a camp. Yes. Where I, yes. Where I mold R&B and pop singers. I can do it. 
<laughs> Honestly, there's like I I'm not like bashing on those who are like in the R and B and like pop game right now, but like y'all ain't doing it like it it was done. Yeah, someone it's it's getting a little lazy. Yeah, the flavor is it's gone. It's gone. It's a little bland. Like the the girls are the only ones keeping it together right now. I I need yeah. some male I need some good male artists to come out. And then the yeah, good like male I love art- I love that all the females are just taking over right now, but like I need me some male R&B. Yeah, I believe in equality. I want everyone yeah. to thrive. I I I need I need equality in that one. Um Come on, men, step it up. <laughs> like, here's the thing. And like, we'll have some men who will come in and they'll be okay and they'll start off great. And then something will happen. I don't know if it's yeah. the industry. I don't know if it's like changing music taste or whatever. Like, they'll completely change their sound. And I think just, it's the changing music taste, honestly. And they will, they'll just change their sound and they'll just sound like every other generic man on the radio. And I'm like, please. Yeah and their vocals will get lazier Mm -hmm. like what's going on yeah i i need to step in i need to rectify this something needs to be done yeah please anyone interested uh ask jordan for all the details yeah (laughs) email me i'm open for consultations um yeah just hit me up i i will fix this Yes, please. <laughs> I will. I will. I will course correct. We, we, we can get this done. If Jordan has the power to get like TV shows back on, renewed, better, he can help the music industry. I can help. This. We've we've seen it. We've seen it happen episode yes. after episode with him speaking things, mm-hmm. and it coming true. Mm-hmm. So, but also back to the original recommendation go listen to slow jam yes right now right now stop this episode right now and go listen to slow jam Mm -hmm. by usher featuring monica thank you Uh, but that's it for this week thank you so much uh don't forget don't forget to follow us on our social media we have a twitter and an instagram they're both at syty podcast um, don't forget to send us your movie stories at our email, answer our questions, hit me up for a music consultation, you know, whatever you want. Yes. Um, at S-Y-T-Y-I podcast at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to share us with your friends and your family. Subscribe mm-hmm. to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Really helps. Uh, continue to wear your mask when you're like mm-hmm. indoors and like around a lot of people please numbers are going up again mm. stressing me out uh wash your hands get vaccinated get your booster um what are they called the midterm elections are coming please don't forget to vote mm. yay please vote Thank you very much. That's all I'm going to say. Please vote. (laughs) Um, And stay iconic. Stay iconic, y'all. Bye.